Okay, we're going to be working with one of my new signs tonight. This says, um, when rain, we got tinsel tie all over it. When rain comes your way, play in the puddles. I love this sign. I love the old fashioned postcards. Um, and vintage is really coming back. Hey, Willie. Um, even check out the little expression on the dog's face. See how he's looking right at the little duck? I need to find me a little pair of red boots. But he's looking directly at that duck. And when you, when you make signs, you do a lot of layering. So this one, I found the vintage postcard and I just had to tie it all in. I love this sign. And there's going to be more um, vintage ones to come. All right, so we're going to get started. We also have little umbrellas and I will have these up in my Etsy shop. I had these made to uh, go with the sign. They're laser cut, so you don't have to, you can buy them painted or unpainted, but what's nice is they have that dark edge, so you do not have to paint the edge. Um, it just makes for a nice um, design. I'm sorry, I'm trying to catch your comments. Hello, Vanessa, how are you? Oh, look at that. We've got closed caption on here. I don't know how that happened, but that's nice. Okay, so we we also have, I had to put a duck on here. He's just so cute, and he's in the sign, so he needed to go on the wreath. So I found a little rubber ducky. A um, few things I did want to share with you tonight. Um, we did this logo for Thana. So this has gone out to her tomorrow. I do logos. You get a sign and you get um, the design. And you also get the banner for your Facebook page. And I know, I don't know if any of you saw me last week on YouTube. I thought I was doing a premiere. It didn't work out as a premiere, but I did make this gnome wreath on, uh, on YouTube. Thank you. So I now have my gnomes. My patriotic gnome has been released. He's on the on my Etsy shop and it's pinned at the top of the comments. And then I also have this sign. Gnome in the USA. Hi Rachel. So if you'll see, my gnome can go with either sign. He matches each sign to the T. Um, I print all my own fabric, so it's all unique. And then playing around this weekend because my ladybug gnome has wings and is black on the bottom. All my gnome's ladybug signs now match the gnome. So we have nothing bugs a lady. So we have it now in rectangle and we have it in circle because everybody was asking for circle. And then enjoy the little things. So there's two sayings and two size signs. Okay? So those were some things I wanted to show you. Also, if you've been on my um, other Facebook page, Robin's Wreath Signs and More, um, keep watching. Because a lot of times when I'm designing a sign, I change it. Even after it's been released, I, I'm always looking for ways to make it better. So, I will be posting, probably this week, if I can get it done, I will be posting signs that I've changed. And they will be a little less than the, than the signs usually are. So, um, keep watching for those. I will be posting them on Robin's Wreath Signs and More that I'm listing them. So you'll probably want to make sure that you're signed up on that Facebook page in order to be notified because I won't be sharing it in any other group but that group. Hi Missy. 
welcome. So what I've done, I have, do you ever have like a bunch of rolls that you have a little bit left on the roll and you're not sure what to do with it? Well, tonight what we're going to do is I'm using up leftover mesh for this wreath. Okay, so the blue, the blue denim I'm pulling out of the umbrella. Okay, I also went ahead and made the umbrellas in yellow and red because I wanted to pull the other colors out of the sign. So, let's get started. My mesh is 10 inch mesh and it's cut at 18 inches. Thank you, Rachel. Um, there is a few more coming out with the vintage um, postcards on them, so keep watching. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have just one um, of red regular mesh, then I'm going to do the denim, then I'm going to do um, this one. So I'm going to alternate, and again, these are cut at 18 inches, and I love all these colors, and I think they complement each other, but I just didn't want to do the whole wreath in one color. I wanted to mix it up, because I want to be able to put the umbrellas on colors that won't they won't be fighting on see I don't like it against the red but it looks better against the blue so the blue is going to be in every other one and finally my uh, hole punch came for my signs so yay if I don't see your comments I'm sorry but I will go back at the end and answer any questions hi Dawn so don't think I'm ignoring you. This screen on my computer is a lot smaller than the other one. So I really can't see it all that well. I can sometimes see it on my phone, but not always. Because you guys are quick with the comments. And see, I didn't want the red. You could even do this with, um, with a, a patriotic wreath too. I just want to have that denim in every other every other one and if you guys don't mind spreading the love that means hitting the share button I'd really appreciate it I'm getting up there in followers and if you haven't um, subscribed to my YouTube channel I will put a link in at the end and you're welcome to do that because I'm going to be tr going, I'm going to try and do a live. I really messed up on the premiere, but I want to do a live on YouTube. So as soon as I figure that out, I'll be doing one live here and one live there. And there's a lot of neat signs coming up. And I'm still getting um, feedback on the contest that I'm running on Robin's Re3. Um, so if you haven't made a suggestion in there, you want to do that because I'm going to take those suggestions and I'm going to make probably five signs. Thank you, Rachel. And then what I'm going to do, I'm not going to tell you who suggested those signs, but next week, I hope to have them done next week and you're going to vote. And the sign that wins, the person that suggested that sign is going to get it for free. So don't forget to share what you're looking for in a sign. I noticed a lot of people are looking for ovals. They're looking for more welcome signs. Um, somebody suggested a gaming sign for gamers. I'm not sure. I think it would be good. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. I'm not sure about gaming, so <laughs> that's kind of might be a hard one to pull off. And don't forget, if you have a ribbon that you can't find a sign to match it, all you have to do is contact me send me a picture of the ribbon and we will make you a sign to match it just ask missy 
and did a sign for Missy to match her ribbon. And it turned out beautiful. And if any of you haven't seen my uh, sister's sign, check it out. That thing is selling like hotcakes. I'm amazed. And I mean, we're talking all over the United States. That sign is being seen. It's a pretty sign. Oh, thank you, Missy. We try. I found the the ribbon that we use to make your your custom sign. I found it in yellow and black. Hi, Carol. So I think we're going to do one in yellow and black, too. And where do you see the upcoming welcome sign that I just did? Oh! And if any of you have a chance to get any bandana ribbon, get it. Because I've got a beautiful um, farmhouse one coming out. And it would be awesome with the bandana ribbon. It's It's got the blue bandana on it, but you could use red also. Oh, is there? Oh, cool. I didn't know they had pink and black in the bandana ribbon. <clears throat> and starting next week, we're going to be watching our grandson. So things are going to get interesting. A litter of pups a baby people are busting my chops about grooming when are you going to get back to grooming hey sue yes that's the plan missy sue is has helped me so much in the designing of my gnomes she helps me she helps me with the design and then I print, use it to print the fabric. Shine, if you look up at the top of my feed here, I put a link to my Etsy shop and I have them listed in my Etsy shop. Hi Arla. So far it is, we'll see. <laughs> Phone has already started up there. So here we go. We've got we've got the blue in every other one, and then we've alternated the um, red. Why did that come out like that? All right. So we'll start with. Let's start with one of these up here, so we can even it out. I have a probably a. I want to say, I think it told me I had over a hundred signs on there, but I can't believe I have that many on there. But you never know. And I find it so easy. In fact, you know how you have things you have to do, but you just don't want to do them? Well, I can sit there and create a sign and be in my own little world. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff that isn't getting done because I'm too busy creating signs. And the ideas just keep coming, so I'm excited. You guys are going to just absolutely love the welcome one I made today. But I'm going to save it. I think I'm going to do the bandana one. I, I don't know. Maybe it won't come in this week, the ribbon in time. And you do know that if you purchase a sign for me and you don't have ribbon to match it, guess what? I buy in bulk. So I've got every stripe, every check, um, every solid. So 
I can sell. I cut the mesh down at 18 inches. Some of this mesh is left over from previous wreaths, so I'm trying to use it up. And I wanted, I didn't want a whole lot of red, uh, but I wanted some red. So that's why we've alternated because when I put the umbrellas on here, I don't want everything just like overwhelming everyone. So I appreciate you spreading the love and don't forget to check out my Etsy store and don't forget to sign up to be on Robin's Wreath Signs and More because then I will let you know because now that we've changed the um, ladybug signs, all the old ones will be for sale without the wings and without the black bottom. And then I've changed this sign so many times, so there'll be a bunch of these for sale. So, I just lost my place. There we go. So I'm doing the blue in every other one and then alternating the two red meshes. This even has, you could even pull the yellow out of here. You could pull the mint out of here. So there's a lot of colors in this sign and in the border and in the background that you could pull out and use. Um, this would even go well with this mesh too. It comes in a roll. See? It would even go with this mesh. I'm trying to give you guys different options because I think that's important. Oh, getting that hooked on it. Thinking there wasn't a thing there. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm not losing my place here. All right, so we need another blue. So I don't know, with the baby coming next week and having to watch him full time for a couple of weeks, I may have to go to premieres, like record on the weekend and play it during the week. So if you're not um, on my YouTube channel, subscribe. You need to uh, go there too. And at the end, I will put the link to it. Hi, Denise. We also did um, a dentist sign this week, a custom dentist sign, a custom welcome sign, which I did post pictures on Robin's wreath signs and more, um, the custom welcome sign was to match um, Susan's um, pot by the front door so so yes please use me if you need something unique because I just love creating Hope you all are staying safe. And I'm just doing a regular ruffle with this. Another red one. had our YouTube collaboration last week. Did any of you watch it on YouTube? Mine did not go to premiere, so I could not see anyone's questions. I could not answer them until after. So I was really disappointed. But 
I gotta start taking my own advice and chilling. It's really roly poly at the end of a roll. <laughs> Thank you, Missy. No, it's not that Susan. It's another Susan. Beautiful flower pot. Real pretty um, design on the front. And I think we hit it on the nose. All right. So there we go so far. Let's get rid of some of that. Now, I know everybody does the usual tails. I don't want to do the tails. So what I've done here, okay, now I'm pulling this one in because of the yellow and the red. I cut this at 29. So this is cut at 29 inches and the one and a half is cut at 18 inches. Okay. So what I kind of do is find the middle and then bring it back down and then I overlap and make like a bow out of it. I'll do another one so you can see. And then I'm going to also do the same thing to the smaller piece. Now I pulled this in because of some of the tan in here and the black. I just thought it would, it would be different. All right. So again, you're finding the middle. Let me get my bow dabra here to hold this in place. All right, so we're finding the middle, and then you're bringing it back down, and you're actually just, well, if you did it this way, find your middle, create your loop, find your middle, and create your loop. So you're just actually overlapping. Can you guys see that? Okay, hi Esther. So I'm making little bows instead of tails. I'm going to dovetail the ends. I just am tired of the same old thing. It's time to step up and get creative. Right, so we've got two bows, and I'm going to put these all around the bottom row. So, because this is red, I'm going to put it on a blue ruffle. Thank you, Esther. Appreciate it. So it's a bow within a bow. And I'll hold it up. Let me see this way. Nope, the other way. So I've just crossed over and layered them on top of each other. Okay? Alright, so we're going into a red zone now. So the red zone I have yellow and red. There we go. But I'm also missing another one. I'll find it. So again, I did the same thing. I just crossed over. All right. So the yellow is going against the red, and then the red will be on top. Actually, wait a minute, I'm going to do the denim one next because I don't want the denim one to end up on the denim one. So we're going to put it over here, the yellow and the red. Thank you, Susan. Susie, baby. 
Somebody needs to go wake up Levon. I think she's sleeping. Or feeding Harlos again. All right, and back here at the red, we're going to do the denim. So again, we're going to find our middle. And then we're going to cross over at the middle and cross over at the middle. And you can adjust your bow if it's not long enough, if your tails are too short or whatever. I just wanted something different. I dare to be different. And look at those colors. They are just popping. Suze, were you on when I showed my new gnome sign? Check this guy out. The red truck and the gnome. The gnome matches my gnome. And it also matches um, well, this ribbon. Because it's across here. Okay, let me know ahead of time. Susan uh, purchased my um, lemonade sign to do a wreath kit with. And wait till you see the colors. She's going to knock your socks off. All right. This is going in the red. how we got to do this here. Um, so if we do the yellow polka dot with the red here, then we can do the denim there. Okay. Just got to keep it. Oh, the, the vintage one with the uh, it has like this in the background, it's gorgeous. It's a vintage sign on top of a vintage sign on top of like the uh, um, galvanized. It's my galvanized one that she used. Now I'm just adjusting this because one was longer than the other. Remember, these were cut at 29, and the smaller ones were cut at 18. Oh, and wait do you see, oh, never mind, I'm not going to say it, because it'll give it away. <laughs> we got some doozies coming. have so far. Stuck in traffic. I thought you fell asleep or we thought you were feeding Harlos again. Or maybe you're making a dog food run. Huh, this isn't going to work. Let me see. All right. I'm trying to do, let me see. 
have this in your head, and then when you go to do it, it's not working out. So let's go ahead and do the red anyhow on top of red because we're breaking it up with the daisy and the other one. Thank you, Sean. Hey, Dawn. <laughs> we know you fall asleep a lot. Hey, did you want to see Thana's sign up close? Look at that gray background. Oh, I'm sorry, Denise. Didn't that turn out great? It has like a texture look in the background. Hi, how are you, Layla? Or Lila, if I pronounce that wrong, I'm sorry. Hi, Nanny Dot. So we're just crossing over. And sometimes you gotta find your middle to get your loops correct. even. We're doing bows instead of tails and we're piling them on top of each other. I use the denim in every other one my my um, thing is not working out here so we'll have a denim on a denim who cares you only live once so walk on the wild side or I could skip one and put the bow here and then I'll be back in order I think I'll do that that's what we'll do what did I have with this? The yellow. Thank you. Wow, welcome, Sean. What's the weather like in Nebraska? We had snow here yesterday. Getting so sick of the yucky temperatures. Yay! I should have brought it down. I'm sorry. I didn't even think. Susan has made a kit out of my uh, lemonade, my galvanized lemonade antique vintage sign. I'm not sure I understand what you mean, Sharon. If you mean the link, it's up at the top. Is that what you mean? Oh, it warmed up a little bit warmer than that here, Sean, but ah, sick of it. I'm sure you are too. We need a nice warm snap to get rid of this virus. love this denim ribbon. I like old-fashioned Victorian country, that kind of stuff. So, all right, so denim and this, and then a yellow and a red. Again, these were cut at 29 inches. You mean you can't find the link? Is that what you mean? I 
the very top of the comments, I'll post it again for you. I'll do it in a reply to you. Let me uh, see if it'll let me do it. No, it's not gonna let me do it, okay. There, I posted it again. There you go. That's where all my signs are. I tried to pin it and wouldn't let me pin it. It's really weird. There it is. <laughs> I don't know. I know that Facebook is making a lot of changes, and I think the changes are affecting a lot of stuff. That's why as soon as we get done, we have to go back through the comments right away because a lot of times the comments go missing too. So um, the best thing to do is if I don't answer your question within 24 hours, private message me and I will answer it for you. It's not for us not wanting to answer you or being lazy. It's because... Um, Facebook only makes some comments relevant and the rest not. So, go figure. I, I don't know why. Alright, so we did that one, we did that one, so now we have a daisy. So this is working out better. So we have the daisy with the beige. Did you all see my puppies? We got three puppies again. And two of the three, their eyes open this morning, are looking right at me. There's Susan. Susan's the one we made the custom signs for, the dentist sign and the welcome sign. They went out this morning. So she should have them in a day or two. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you, LeVon. Thanks, Esther. Yeah, they did turn out beautiful. Yeah, we're going to end up with a, a denim one there. So, let me, let me do some thinking here. So we don't want a denim on a denim. So, I could put a small bow there and a bigger bow over here and put this in the middle and then, ah, uh, that's where our duck has to go. That's where our duck's going to go because he's the one playing in the puddle with the red boots. And look at the expression on the little dog's face. Like, what the what? <laughs> Thank you, Susan. I'm not designing on the fly here. I just want to push myself, I guess is what I wanted to say. So we could do an umbrella there. And again, these will be available with the sign if you want. We had to get umbrellas. So maybe we'll put a yellow umbrella over there. We only have one red umbrella, so we could put a yellow, a red, a yellow. I know there's one more. There it is. But then we have to figure out where we're going to put our bow. So, we're going to put our bow up here. We're going to put our duck here. And these are really nice. I had a lady make these especially for me. Um, it's not on there. This sign, 
it's not on there yet Susan it'll be on there tomorrow and you'll have the option also to purchase the little umbrellas I can color them for you or you can color them yourself what I liked about these signs this lady does laser cutting she has like a um, Oh, I'm trying to remember the kind of machine it is that she has. But what it does is it leaves a burnt edge all the way around. So basically, you're just painting the top or coloring it. Markers adhere to this really well. See? <laughs> My hand, too. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I wanted umbrellas in here, and then I want a bow. So let's make our bow, and then we'll figure out where everything's going to go. And for those that you didn't see, that's my my other gnome sign, CNC machine. No, it's not. It's the um, it's the laser cutter machine. And see, he matches my gnome too. So this one says "Born to Be Free," and this one says "Gnome in the USA." <coughs> I knew the name of it. Do you think I can remember it now? Ugh. my mind is dead all right so I think I want about a 12 inch tail on these I'm gonna do a six inch I'll think of it um, I haven't tried it yet Susan <laughs> my grandson came on Saturday unexpected because um, we have to spend more time with him and get him used to us and so I spent a lot of time working on one of my signs today and uh, that's next. Oops. No problem. We're just going to cut it a little bit short. And then we're going to loop it in here. And then we're just going to make a set of loops. No problem. We are just rolling with the punches tonight. less of that. There we go. And I'm just trying out something here. So I'll be able to cover that up. You won't even see it. Let's trim a little bit of this off. There we go lost without my big scissors. There we go. I like my big scissors. Did you all have a nice Mother's Day yesterday? My husband made me brownies. Looks like a florist upstairs. It was my anniversary last week, our wedding anniversary, so my husband bought me roses. Then the kids all sent me flowers. It's crazy. And my youngest had to work, so he couldn't stop by.
loving this ribbon. It's really sturdy. <coughs> Excuse me. This one, I'm only going to do one loop, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Nah. We're going to do three. Two regular size and one small one. I wanted to get a little black in there. Now, had one. One of my tinsel ties set up for the bow. And now I'm not seeing it. So we are going to take one off the duck and we'll figure out a way to put him in there. That's nice. Sounds like fun, Denise. It was kind of a hard Mother's Day because we lost our mother-in-law. My mother-in-law passed away due to the coronavirus. So we were missing her a little bit this time. It was just a couple weeks ago that she passed. So, get out my fluff box. Put this aside. this to cover over that, but this, now I can trim this because it's nice and tight in the zip tie now, I don't want that showing. Why I just wish people would stay safe. Our family members that are in the nursing home are just like sitting ducks because they can't go out and the staff has to be there so they're coming in and out and boom. So it's been hard can't have a funeral, you can only have 10 people at the cemetery, it's not a good
good time to lose somebody close. She was very well loved. But she is going to be awfully missed. She is now, anyhow. All right, so I'm going to put my bow on this side. Yes, that's awesome. We need to stay safe. Some of our residents in the state of Pennsylvania want to open things up again, and they're holding protests, and they want to do their own thing, and it's like, no, you don't. You need to be prepared. You need to stay safe. All right. My gnome is going away. There we go. All right, so if we're putting that there, then now we have a hole punch. And don't tell me I lost it. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh. They only have room for one umbrella because this wreath is not that big. But look at that. I got a whole bunch again. Woohoo! The other day I went and put all my signs and wired them all up because I haven't been able to do that for how long? I had all these wreaths sitting with no signs attached. All right. So I think we're going to go up in here. Yes. I'm just loving all the color here. Look under this one. There we go. And don't forget when you're making your wreaths to make sure you put your business card on the back of your sign. Oh, that's awesome, Thana. Here's your sign that goes out tomorrow, dear. Trying to get rid of the glare. There we go. See, and when you're designing your wreath, you can put it right behind you, or you can put it on your wreath on a door. If you do any shows or anything, hon. You are so welcome. Oh! <gasps> You got it on your page. Oh, I have to go see it. You all have to check out Thanis Wreaths and Creations. We made her a banner for her Facebook page and a sign. Plus, see, you can take the sign I sent you, that design, and you can always put it on an apron. Good, I'm glad. Just get this in the right hole. We'll be good. There. And then that one goes down in there. And if you buy a sign from me and you don't have a hole punch and you want the holes put on it, let me know. I can always do it for you. I've been using those cable tie things and those little black things that they use for cables. And I've been E6000 and it's, it wasn't holding as well as it should. So only waited a month and a half for that order to come in. Yeah, Missy has an apron. We put Missy's on an apron. And on magnets. <laughs> All right, so there's our sign. So now, 
Where are we going to place our duck? I think he needs to go right there. And I'm telling you, I'm going to be watching. If anybody sees little red boots, I want you to let me know. Because he needs a pair of red boots. Just like the one in the picture. So he's going to go there. And then... I don't want to glue them, so I'll wait to the end and find that zippy tie or that um, <gasps> tinsel tie. All right, so this needs to go. I want this on a blue, so I think that's going to go there. Oh no! Well, you know what? I I did order more from him, and they just came the end of the week so he's probably really busy so that can go there actually my duck's going to go down here there there we go then colors aren't fighting I can put this up here because this will be on the blue and then I can put this down here. All right, that's what we'll do. And see, I didn't need all those tails in there because these umbrellas were going to cover it up. What does that mean, Missy? <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> Should have brought my needle down here. So you can buy the sign with or without the uh, the um, umbrellas. I've been wanting to do this sign for the longest time. I've had it for a couple months now and I've had the umbrellas but I couldn't figure out if I wanted to decoupage fabric on them oh okay I thought you were coming to visit <laughs> I'm loving these umbrellas and you can get them painted or unpainted it's totally your call or you can decoupage different fabric on it to make it look like a fabric umbrella all right mesh is not cooperating there we go there we go I have to go through and Move my tinsel ties, shorten them. Let's see, this is what we should be doing. Because life has kind of hit a hit us with a curve. So when rain comes your way, play in the puddles. So we need to play in the puddles instead of complaining about the puddles and the rain. So what do you think? And like I said, anytime you order a sign from me, if you want ribbon to match, all you have to do is say so. 
I have it all. Like for the red truck sign, we've got this. We also have red truck ribbon. And see, we put in the, the fireworks there to match too. Thank you, Denise. So if you're not signed up on Robin's Resigns and More, go in and do that. So you'll be notified when I have the uh, outdated signs on sale. And this sign will be on there tomorrow. And look at that little duck. He needs a pair of boots. Thank you, Esther. Doesn't he? I got to find a little pair of red boots to attach to match the sign. And he's just having a good old time in that puddle. Aw, thank you, Shauna. Welcome. Don't forget to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe because I plan on doing one here a week and one on YouTube. And I usually go live um, Mondays at 6.45 Eastern Standard Time and on uh, Wednesdays at 2. But all life is about to change when we start watching Mark Grantson next week. So things are going to be a little chaotic. But there we go. We got it all on there. You just have to do some adjusting and some snipping. Of, and I used um, tinsel tie show you what that looks like. It either comes like this or it comes in a roll. I get mine at Sims or Trendy Tree and I make my own wreath base with a Dollar Tree wire wreath base. I cut these at 12 inches so I'll be able to get him on there and then I think I'll wrap a bow around his or a bow tie yes and we'll get him on there and again you can purchase the uh, umbrellas too so you can buy the sign the umbrellas with it I may even have more ducks but he needs a pair of red boots what can I make red boots out of, Esther? What could I form into a boot and, and let it dry? Um, I don't know. I don't have any Santa boots. Maybe I could sew them a pair of boots out of red fleece. I'll try that. Does anybody have any questions? Were there any questions I didn't answer? This sign has not made it there yet, Shauna. It'll go on tomorrow. Um, but And this one will go on tomorrow. These I already did change them out because before the bottom was different and we didn't have wings. Um, and I've changed the sign around a couple of times. I've tried different fonts at the top. So some of these will be on there. And see, the only way you'll know if they're on there is if you're um, on my other Facebook page. Oh. That might work, Esther. Hmm. That might work. I'll have to look. See? I knew you'd know. But all the rest of the signs are up there. Um, we have a bunch of new signs. If you haven't entered my contest 
on Robin's, um, is that on the wreath signs and more, or is it on the wreathery page? God, I'll have to look. But on one of my pages, um, we're having a contest. You give me an idea for a sign you want to see. Next week, I will have probably five signs made up, and you will vote on which sign you like the most. And the person that gave me that idea will get the sign for free. Okay, if you, you're already on Robin's Re3. So if you go to Facebook and go to Robin's, let me see if I can find it for you. And then I'll just tag it in here. Um, Robin's. That's the Facebook page, but I could probably pull it up for you and put a link. You have to ask to join. Oh, it's got a number after it. So let me, let me copy and paste here, because you probably won't find it that way. sure how they would be size wise Denise but I could look into it there's the yeah there we go there it is for you Shauna just go in and ask to join and I'll put you in there it's basically um, so you will be the first ones to know about my new signs you will be the first ones to know about sales on my signs um, like I said I'm not sure which Facebook page I have the contest on I'll have to go back and look and repost it. Okay. I will find him because he needs a set of boots just like in the uh, in the postcard. And and it just so worked out that that little dog's eyes were just looking at him like you're nuts, buddy. <laughs> I like my signs to give a little giggle, and I got a little giggle out of this one, so. And there'll be more things like this coming. Um, yeah, there's, sometimes I have to take a, a breath and throw myself into designing, and I've got some really unique stuff coming up. You're so welcome. No. So look for me on Wednesday. If I'm not here, I will be on YouTube. So let me go grab that for you too. That way you have everything at your disposal and you won't miss out on anything. If I can get it. weird. Okay, it looks like it's got a bunch of numbers attached to it too, and it didn't before. So let's see if that works. Zoom. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that worked without the question mark at the end. Okay, go on and subscribe and hit the bell. The bell, the, that will let you know every time I'm live. Okay. So I got everything in there for you. If you had any questions that I didn't see, um, let me know. If you don't hear back from me within 24 hours, I'm looking at the comments. I don't think I missed anybody's comment. So... Okay, I thank you for joining me and for just spending time with me. Thank you.
I'm just making sure you don't have any last minute questions. Thank you, Esther. All right, everybody, you have a great night and thanks for joining and keep an eye out, okay? All right, good night.